So I just got the Model SX Quick Connection Phone Dock and it's an accessory you can buy of the Tesla store or the Tesla shop. Cost about $34. I got the USB-C version. They have the micro USB and the iPhone. I, I think the iPhone was sold out, but uh, I have a Google Pixel 2 XL and I just wanted the, another way to plug my phone in the car. Um, I have uh, the iAudi uh, car dock. I'm going to show it to you. I've been using this for quite some time. And um, I don't know, I wanted something that kind of um, preserve the look of the car. Maybe I don't want to have the iAudi all the time showing. It just kind of takes a little bit from the um, aesthetic of the car. And um, so the thing is, it comes in... Uh, several pieces so you have the wire and the bracket uh, that kind of like plugs into the car and also you have um, those brackets the side brackets so you have uh, um, wider ones and you have narrower ones and those are uh, numbered so this is number two this is uh, number one so one and two they go together and then the three and four the wider ones they kind of go together as well and um, if you go to the Tesla website it says uh, 1 and 2 for um, the iPhone I think 6 uh, plus and then um, then the 3 and 4 for the iPhone 6 so I guess one for the smaller iPhone and the other one for the larger iPhone but the, this is the same even for the USB-C and iPhone doesn't have USB-C, so I guess ju Tesla just left it like that. So from my experience, uh, 1 and 2 are a little bit loose for the Pixel 2 XL. Um, definitely if you use the 3 and 4, they are really narrow. So you really can't use them to connect the Pixel XL. Maybe for the smaller Pixel they would want, for the larger Pixel, you want to use uh, the 1 and 2. So let's take a look on how to install this thing and then um, figure out uh, what's gonna happen after that so let's go ahead and get started so first you start by um, removing the rubber mat so you take it out and then you get access to the two screws here so let's go ahead and unscrew these Clean this a little bit and let's go ahead. All right. Maybe I have to take this. Okay. I see. So let's see. Maybe pull this out. Hmm. I'm trying to see how to pull this out. Too much force may break something, so... Hmm. I don't know if this is uh, connected to something here. Alright, there you go. So yeah, it had uh, two clips on the side. So, let's throw it away. Hmm. I'm still unlucky with this, so I think I remembered through the website you gotta move this through the crossbar, so let's see. Not the easiest job in the world, but I'll figure it out, so let's see. How to move this, so... <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. Well. Whew. I'm sweating now. The way to install this is that you need to raise this vertically and uh, you push this sideways and then from the back you kind of try to push it in so that those uh, wings or flaps on the sideways they kind of slide in there so let me see almost there There you go. So now it's in. So before I put the screws, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install those brackets. I think that's a better way to do it. And then um, figure out where the screws need to be relative to the phone. So <clears throat> that's number two. So let's move this. Okay, and uh, number one. There you go. And let's just slide the phone. Okay, perfect. So I think that's a better approach. So if you leave the phone in, you need now to put the screws and do the same. Let's put back the rubber mat. There you go. So this is guys how the final product looks like. So the phone is in, it's charging, take it out, and then let's uh, lock the screen, you know, and then there you go, see it's charging, you know. As for the charging, you can either use this uh, 12 volt uh, charger, so let me zoom in. Do some focusing here so I wish there was an option where you can choose um, a USB-C so I could just plug it into this and get a faster charging speed uh, this charger has uh, a 3 amp USB plug so I can use that it's an older one so probably the newer ones would work better for power delivery you know because this is a Qualcomm 3 and the pixel is a power delivery so kind of different to standards alternatively you can just plug the cable directly to here and then because of the angulation it's gonna look nicer here so you don't have to have this thing here but then the problem it's gonna block the port the USB port and for guys who wanna have um, let's say some music on a USB disc they can't utilize this port anymore and this is the um, SD card I'm using to basically record through the dash cam so pretty much um, I wish Tesla had extra ports here you know maybe one or two and USB